Okay, for part six, it should be somewhere around this type of progress. It's obviously not going to look exactly the same. So, I think I like what's happening with the distance here. And so far I'm kind of liking what's happening in the foreground. What I'm going to try to do is, because I've got this nice blue up here, I'm going to take this, this fine brush again. And I think most of you with those packets you bought, like at Walmart or wherever you got them, you had some fine brushes. But I'm going to get a strong blue. see it but this is the blue I'm talking about and really it doesn't matter what blue you have I'm going to take this one and very sparingly to complement this area up here I'm going to come down into here and I'm going to find some spots where it'll be visible like I have this kind of warm gray in here and you have to make it so you have to make it so you barely touch it because you don't want to get carried away. And make sure it's spread out, you know. Some of them are going to show up and some aren't. But in real life, some of the real flowers or whatever's growing out there show up and some don't. Some are partially covered with leaves. Some are less visible for other reasons, from shadow, from certain things, from other plants. Now, if, if these are too harsh and mechanical, I can just tap them with my finger a little bit to soften them up. I'm going to leave a gap there. I'm going to move on a little bit. And this just gives us a little more life. Who knows where this is or if they had blue flowers this time of year, but... It is what it is. It's like, it's our world, we're making it. And uh, so these, at least from my vantage point, are a little harsh. But maybe not. We'll see what happens. I can always tone them down later if they're too much. I think I'll pull some more into this kind of bland area. We have some blotchy green and some blotchy kind of reddish gray and then some kind of other reddish color here. And I think the contrast of this blue can liven some of this area up a little bit. Remember, your blue doesn't have to have a specific shape. So I, I'm recording these sessions early in the mornings because nobody else is up. I have moved to my mom's side of the house because my wife is a nurse and we're trying to keep separate, which is tough. But uh, I am in the kitchen between two sides of the house. And uh, as soon as my mom gets up, the news is going to come on or game shows or whatever it is she happens to be watching today. And uh, that's what you would hear in the background. 40-year-old game shows from the Game Show Channel. <laughs> okay. So these, eh, kind of liking it. I might put, the, put a little green in here, here and there to soften those up so they don't look too mechanical. So... Now, <clears throat> to add a little bit more color, I think what I want to do is, I'm picturing a windy day here. This tree did not totally grow that way. It's got a kind of strong wind. And this is the part I think is kind of fun, is this will bring our kind of fall feel to this, even though we're heading into spring. Uh, just. 
this is something I've laughed at my mom for many times. She used to sit in her chair in the living room painting and she'd dip her brush in her coffee, which I just did. Um, I'm going to drink it anyway. I don't care. But, uh, yeah. No way I'm going to waste a full cup of good coffee. So, I'm going to get into, not too, too bright, but I'm going to get into some oranges here. Oh, there you go. That's a real bright orange, but if I can tone it down a little bit, I think we'll be good. Now, here's where it's important to be really light with your brush. I think I'm going to get some, like, red or burgundy in here. So, let me, <clears throat> let me zoom in here so this is a little more evident. Zoom in on the tree. Okay. So, what I want to do is I want to just come out to some of these branch tips. And there are areas here where these leaves are not even touching the branches. Because there's little twigs there we just can't see. In fact, I'll probably add some twigs. But this is like the tail end of this tree having any leaves in the season. So we want to kind of have it so there aren't a lot left. And don't get carried away with them, okay? Because I know what's going to happen is some of you are going to go, oh, orange, cool, this, this is this is good. I'm going to put some leaves on my tree. And, and you're going to find that you're... Uh, left with some big blotches that don't look natural. And uh, what I'm seeing here that I think I want to fix is I want to get one of my I want to get uh, one of these kind of brownish gray colors again. And I want to just not get it too heavy on here but I want to put some super fine lines on my tree where I want more leaves to be and uh, this this is the part that takes a little bit of practice I have this super fine tip and I'm just going to kind of barely touch some of this Sometimes, if you're doing this right, sometimes your brush isn't going to, nothing's going to come off of it. That's okay. I'd rather have nothing come off, off of it than have to rescale my whole tree because I've messed up. I got a little thick right there, but what I'm going to do is cover that with a leaf. So yeah, I want some small, very small branches here. And this is, you know, it takes a little practice, but you just want to graze the paper super soft. See how I'm missing it totally? We want to get some fine branches on here. That way we have something more for the... Uh, something more for the leaves to rest on. I think it'll make them a little more believable. Now some watercolors won't even bother with that. They'll just be very loose with it and that's okay too. I'll get some finer stuff in here. Okay, I think, I mean, I think that'll do. We're going to assume, you know, like if I was sitting here working on this for myself, I would, uh, 
I would kind of assume that uh, I would spend a little more time on those tiny little things because that's kind of how I do things. I get... I don't know. I, I get almost like I'm doing a drawing. So I do like draw and fine details with my with my brush. Almost dipped in my coffee again there. Now see, my, my orangish color already almost dried up. And I actually went from right from my brown into my orange and I darkened it a little bit. But that's okay because you don't want the same orange over and over and over again. It'll probably appear to be almost the same. Okay. So you can see there's just a little bit left on the tree. Now here's the fun part for me. It's a windy day, right? So, we have these kind of reddish colors over here, and I'll even bring some of this down into here. Obviously, some of them have already fallen on the ground, right? So, you're going to have some laying around here. Okay, so I'm going to take this feel of this wind coming, and I'm going to kind of look for my leaves to kind of be going through here. Not too much. You don't want to get carried away with this either. So different angles. Some of the leaves are a little bit bigger, which still, they're really tiny. But as they fly, sometimes they'll be flat against you. Sometimes they'll be on their edge. But as they're flying, they go all over the place. So some of them are just slivers, and some of them are a little more, uh, more visible. Now, when I get over into this area here, when I get over into this area here, I'm only going to do just a couple of them. They're a little thicker closer to the tree, and then I'm just going to do a couple when we get on over here, but that's going to help carry our color through. And don't make them evenly spaced like it's somebody marching and leaving footprints. Might have a couple right beside each other. Might have one out here on its own. Might have one up here. And I think I will come back toward the tree now. Come do a little bit more to show that there's actually some leaves there to, to blow. After I sign off from here, what I probably will do, because it bothers me, I will probably make more small twigs and branches, and maybe reinforce some of these. So I really do want to see more very light branches here, because that's really where you see the leaves. You don't see them on these great big things as much. Okay. So that ought to give you something to work on, and uh, looking forward to seeing how the progress is going.